everyone and welcome to another devlog. I'm Tina, community manager, and I'm sitting here with Elliot, our game director, and Jennifer, our lead desi game designer on Heartspace Shipbreaker. Uh, and Jenny, this is the first time that our community is seeing you here on the devlog. Can you tell them a little bit about yourself? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Sorry, I'm so excited. <laughs> I haven't done one of these in like so many years now. <laughs> So yeah, um, hi, I'm Jenny. I'm I'm the lead game designer on Heartspace. I just joined a team in was it December? Oh God, Elliot. <laughs> yeah, December. Right at the end oh, of December. It feels like so long. Christmas Crazy. Time. time makes no sense these times, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I joined um, in December, and I, it it could not be more fitting, honestly. Like this is this is my jam. Heartspace and everything space is my jam. Um, I've been a game designer for this is my tenth year now. Gee. <laughs> anniversary year. So this is my 10th year as a game designer now. Um, I have an affinity for space games. I've worked on Objects in Space, which is a super bizarre, small indie game um, about space trading. Uh, and I had a brief um, a brief contact with working with NASA on future astronaut training. And now I'm here. So I'm super excited to be working in hard space. This is totally my jam. And this is an amazing team. It's I couldn't be happier. It's awesome. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice. And welcome, Jenny. Yeah, Jenny, your, your, your cred as a space nerd has been super helpful on this project already. <laughs> space nerd. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and you folks all know me. Uh, I've seen my face several times now. Game director on Shipbreaker. Um, yeah, we've got some exciting stuff to talk about today. Yeah, and uh, many of you have been wondering, when is the next update? Well, we've uh, been working on the biggest one yet, and this is what we're here to talk about today. But before we begin, <clears throat> we just wanted to iterate how helpful all your feedback has been and how we would absolutely love to see more people uh, join the Discord feedback channel where we have the voting thumbs up and down system um, because we collect every single item that gets posted there and for Jenny and the design team to uh, to review. Mm -hmm. yeah, honestly, it's been so fun. <laughs> I know it it sometimes can look towards the player a little bit like you're you're shouting into the void, but we read every single one of those. Like literally the spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Fifteen, for putting it together. It's a lot of work to maintain. Just you know, um, we we look at it. We we read every single one of those uh, entries, and I have like a little note section on the side. I'm like taking notes. <laughs> we should consider this, or we should think about this, or where it could fit, or maybe there's things that we're already considering, and maybe a slightly different format. But yeah, we are reading every single one of those entries. Please keep them coming. We love them. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. And contribute to, you know, how if you like it, if you don't like it, we like to see the amount of engagement. Whether it has thumbs up or down, we look at it. So <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at both. Exactly. <laughs> so let's talk about this this coming update. This is the probably the, the biggest change that's going to come to the game, the biggest update to the game probably ever. Um, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Uh, as you as you know, we've dropped our cadence of, of updates down, and that lets us focus on these much larger projects. This one touches on the the actual campaign experience of the game, what the progression of the player is, what the story of the of the of the campaign is. Um, so it touches a lot of things, and we're starting with just releasing Act One, uh, which we're we're super excited to get in people's hands. Ah, yeah, I know. It's everyone is really excited and like. In, in the best way possible, anxious about it. Because, <laughs> you know, we're putting something out there that is new to the game and new to you as a community. And we don't want to spoil too much here, obviously, because we want you to experience it fresh and from the from the get-go. But uh, there's so much we, we hope to bring to you and we hope you learn through this update. You know, we want to bring you more characters from the Heartspace universe. We want to want to bring you people who relate to your role as a shipbreaker and who are like you and who you can relate to. So. Um, we've been thinking so much about this and we've had so many internal discussions about what that means and we, we're really like laser focusing ourselves on what is this universe that you're experiencing and what do we want to bring to it and how can we tell it in a nuanced way. So I'm, I'm giddy, like I can't wait to see <laughs> people react to it. In, it it's, it's obviously like a little scary doing this during early access, so you know, bear with us, but I can't wait to see people react to it. It's going to be super fun. Bear with us and, get, and give us your thoughts and opinions on 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 how you how you're experiencing it and how you're what you think of it when it comes out. We're really excited to have these other characters' voices and, and perspectives that show up in the game and help you help flesh out the world a little bit. And we also want to expand on the history of of the Hard Space Rail, the history of the Railgate Network, the history of Links as a company, 
um, and add more depth to those things. So that's super exciting uh, for us to dig into as well. It's been exciting internally too, because some of these questions we haven't really answered properly yet, like making a, a proper huge timeline of all the things that have happened leading up to the current point in time in the history. So we've had to put our heads together, right? And like really <laughs> suss out what that means. And any dystopian future scenario had, has to have something that leads up to it. So we've been like changing some parts of the current history and <laughs> how how do we end up in this like different version of, uh, of the world hundreds of years in the future. So it's been super fun for us to think about this and make it work and i think some of these things you're gonna you're gonna really appreciate <laughs> and some of the ideas came from you yeah. definitely and it's been it's been also really interesting to figure out how to how to deliver this narrative in a way that doesn't interrupt this this core uh, gameplay experience that we already have that we really like that we know the players really like um so how do we layer the narrative on top of that and and predominantly we're, we're doing that by still delivering story through a lot of the ways that you already are familiar with, whether you find it in a ship or get it sent to your hab through a message or whatever. Um, but then there's also these voices that you're going to be hearing from other characters as your ship break. So hopefully it's it's delivered in a way that doesn't interrupt the flow of the game, but still gives you a lot of great narrative experience as well. I'd be a little less lonely in your bay after all. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a massive update, um, and and we're also taking this opportunity because we've had so much time to work on this development uh, on this on this update. Um, we're taking this time to really look back at at all of the things we've observed and learned, whether it's feedback or data or analytics about how players are playing the game and experiencing the game, and starting trying to address, you know, the myriad things that are there that we want to improve on whether it's first time user experience, tutorialization, progression, that kind of thing, we're going to really try to try to address a lot of those things in this update. Interesting, because for a lot of us, the, the process of an early access game is a little new, so we haven't really done this before. And it's been, I don't know, I, at least for me, it's been super rewarding. I don't know how you feel about it, Elliot, but it's a, like a rewarding experience. Um, and at the same time, obviously, we can't always do everything. so. Um, it being so close to to how you feel about the game and what you like to do has been so fascinating. I personally, I I know you've you've seen it too, Elliot, but the mm -hmm. the um the request that we made towards our speedrunner community to to bring out terms that they use for some of their techniques, mm -hmm. I love that. It was so fun. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yep. We've been like talking back and forth about it <laughs> internally. Yep. Do you have a favorite? I can't remember them all, but <laughs> the starfish I think was one. The starfish <laughs> the maneuver starfish is pretty is awesome. Great. I love a, I think it's called a glass entry or oh, something where yeah, you go through the cockpit. That's yeah. that's one of my favorites. I love it. Nice. I, I was impressed with the clowning one. <laughs> yeah, clowning. I was just Sorry, impressed Dina. with, no, no, I was just impressed with the number of them that there were. I didn't mm -hmm. know there was so many. Mm -hmm. That was really cool to see. Yeah. It's so rewarding. Like, you know, you, you sit there for years and you make a game and you, you think you know everything about it. <laughs> and the second you put it into players' hands, they just surprise you every single time with, how they solve problems in it and making up things within the world and it's so yeah god it's just so awesome you know i it's i find it very rewarding and i know that sometimes yeah. going to an early access phase as a player with your devs can be a little bit difficult but just we appreciate this so much it's it's been extremely rewarding to see you mm -hmm. experience the game and like infusing it with your yeah energy <laughs> yeah and literally some of those things that we're seeing in the community whether it's these terms for uh for the speedrunners or some of the conspiracy theories that have surfaced in our discord <laughs> community we're actually trying to roll some of those things in to the canon so you'll see a couple of little nods toward community, uh in involvement <laughs> a couple of places i love some of the conspiracy theories so much mm -hmm. yeah. they're so good <laughs> the, the different gods are my first personal favorite yeah <laughs> <laughs> nice work <laughs> And just, yeah. you know, keep an eye out for those. And thanks Wink. so much for <laughs> your patience between the updates as well. <laughs> Yeah, so and, and just, a, just a quick reminder that because this update is so big and it affects so many parts of the game, and we also want, want everybody to experience uh, the campaign from a fresh start because it's changing so much, we are resetting aggression uh, for this update. But there's so much more new stuff for you to experience. We think that that's going to be a fun thing to maybe start from scratch. So uh, just a quick quick reminder that that's happening when this goes live. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, we, we're we going to announce whenever we are planning on doing this, just in the future, so you're aware. Um, thanks for your super positive responses to it as well. Like We know that that can be a little jarring when you've put a lot of hours into a game already. So we're super thankful that you're, uh, you're accommodating 
for us to do this because you know it's it's the campaign that we're implementing or starting to implement but also we are um we're interested in revisiting some things like progression and the tutorial and things that we always wanted to improve on uh, in the game so a reset is really going to help us also get a fresh look on if these changes work so yeah your your support in that just means a lot to us absolutely yeah thanks everybody yeah thank you <laughs> And the uh, last thing we wanted to mention is that we'll be hosting another community contest very soon. Uh, so stay tuned in the announcements and uh, for future AMAs as well. You might see Jenny and Elliot there as well. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, all. Until next time. <laughs>